Hi, Gloria Donahue with Nana's Cookery. Welcome or welcome back to my kitchen. We're going to be making one of the simplest cookies in the world uh, right now, cornstarch cookies. Uh, unusual because most cookie dough do not have cornstarch in it. It makes for a, a delicate cookie, but it's very good. But before we start that, I want to show you again my tea towel. If you go back and see on the live broadcast, we talked about a tea towel that I'd gotten that had no names and I wanted names. And so people have written me names with their continent. And this is how we're doing so far. And it's so thrilling. I, I told them when I first did it, well, I'd be wiping my hands on you, but I'm not gonna use it because I don't know how well it would hold up. And you do not know how proud I am that not only can I put my hands on the towel, I can put my hands on the markers and the directions on how to do it because we all have different faults. I have two major ones, procrastination, putting things off, and being absent-minded. And that's why I can't find a recipe or, well, glasses before I had to wear bifocals because I put things down and then forget where I put them. But this, I've been very careful and I promise to be very careful with it. And so if you see your name, if not, just send me a comment and tell me what continent you're from. Uh, the majority is blue because that's North America. But I have things from Asia and Australia and Africa and South America, Europe. So please, I would love to hear from you. And I do love to hear from you. And my, my producer wants you to subscribe so badly that now he's threatening me. This is not good, folks. I'm his grandmother. <laughs> These are the cookies. I have in the processor... Now, if you don't have a processor, you could use a pastry blender because it's another one of those doughs where you're cutting butter into the dry ingredients. I use salted butter in this because it's an old recipe and there's no ingredient salt that's added to it. So if that's the case in most recipes, I just use regular butter instead of the sweet butter. I have a half a cup of 10x sugar. That's the fine white sugar that comes in the bag for frosting. I have a half a cup of cornstarch, which comes either in a tin or a box, a small box, and a cup of flour. And I'm gonna whoosh those together here. I'm going to add the butter now, and I just find it better if I cut it into smaller pieces. It's less likely to be a big glob in the machine. And then we're going to do an on and off. Now, if I were crumbing, if I just wanted crumbs, I would only do it so far, and then I would have crumbs. But this, I actually want a cookie dough. I've been making this cookie for years and years. I don't even know where I got the recipe. It is actually written in the back of one of my really old cookbooks. But I had obviously gotten it from somewhere else first. And you, as you can see, it's making a dough. And it's rounding itself up there. It's a soft dough. As you can see how quickly that went together. Now, I always use parchment paper for my cookies. I've told you that before because you don't have to grease it. Even if it calls for a grease uh, sheet, you don't have to do that. Put it on the parchment paper. And then when the cookie comes out of the oven, you can slide the whole parchment paper to a rack. And then it can cool off in its own time and you can take them off. There's no uh, fear of the cookie sticking to the sheet because it's been on too long. So I'm going to use, I'm going to, I think I'll try this. My daughter got me this. They come in different sizes, and I was never sure because I kept on looking at different ones. But she gave me this one, and I use this for a number of my cookies. So we're just going to try to do that, and let's see. Okay, I think that's about right. So it's a little heaping. I'm not going to worry about it being, like, right to the top of the thing. I'm going to roll it into a ball. Uh, I'm going to put it on a parchment-lined sheet. Now, you can do a couple of things now. You can either uh, sprinkle, sprinkle them with a colored sugar maybe, or a, a crystal sugar, and then you just flatten it a little. Uh, we're gonna do something a little different, and that is we've always called them thumbprint cookies because we take a thumb, make an impression in the middle of the cookie, and put jam in it. Now, I'm going to use raspberry, which is good because it's seedless, and it's, uh, it's, it would be a little harder to use a preserve that has uh, uh, pieces of fruit in it. So it's really easier, I think, if you use a, um, uh, 
the seedless raspberry is good, but I've also used apricot. And I'm just trying to see what kind of a size I want. I would say a little less than a half a teaspoon. So let's go for a, let's go for a heaping quarter instead and see how we like that. You can see I haven't made these for a while. Okay, maybe even a level quarter. We're gonna put the cookies in. They are cooked at a low temperature, lower than normal for cookies, 300 degrees for 20 minutes or so until they're just light brown around the edges. Here's our cookies ready to be served. Thank you again for visiting the kitchen. I love to have you come and I love to hear from you. Thanks again, bye-bye. Mm -hmm.